Let me show you how it's done. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the most important things you need to do right before a game. Shuffling. Breaking. We've all been there. Sometimes it's because of our deck build. Other times, it's because we didn't shuffle properly. Hey, you. Can you show him the shuffling methods again? What was that? Oh, it be? Is it the heart of a... Oh. Okay, we'll first have this guru do some warm-up exercises. Probably the most popular shuffle, it involves taking a chunk of cards from the bottom and gradually transferring them to the top of the deck. Usually used by beginners or children, the smooth shuffle is fun to do once in a while but not recommended for tournaments. An advanced technique that takes some practice, it's one of the best shuffle and it can be done rather quickly. A good way to ensure you have the right number of cards in your deck, but it doesn't shuffle well, so make sure you mix it up with other shuffling methods. No, not a shuffle! In order to really randomize your deck, use a combination of the shuffling methods or reshuffle seven times. Now, let's talk about a different kind of shuffle. Okay, attack your vein. He thought. Kaosu shuffle. Hand shuffle, a fearsome shuffle in which shuffling is not the goal. Done by moving cards from one hand to the other rapidly, completed with card slapping noises. I get it, we all do it sometimes, and some situations call for it such as preventing your opponents from memorizing your cards or when you need to drop a hand card at random. But you've got to admit, when done excessively, it can be pretty distracting. Stop hand shuffle and make this world a better place. Uh, I take your... He sucks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 